In our area, we've had to wait a long time because of late frost to plant our tomatoes. So sometimes you end up with a, a long, tall, leggy tomato plant. And, you know, it'd be in danger of being broken by the wind and stuff if you just planted the root ball. But there's a couple of different ways you can deal with leggy tomato plants when you're planting them outside. I have some loose uh, potting soil in here for demonstration purposes and I'll show you the first way. The root ball's right here. What you can do is just dig a trench and then bury the root ball and most of the plant. Then you can prop the end of the plant up and it'll start growing up there. It'll start growing straight up and it'll form roots all along the stem. And that'll actually help make a stronger plant in some cases. The reason I thought of doing this now is my niece had problems with uh, her leggy tomato plants and she had to wait a long time and they kept getting taller and taller and being inside they, you know, in bad weather they weren't getting quite as much sun as they should. And she came up with a really good solution for hers. She, uh, since she couldn't put them outside right away, she found some tall containers like two liter bottles and that sort of thing and, and buried hers into the bottle until she had a chance to put them outside. So if you want to go check out that video and her channel, I'll put a link up there somewhere towards the end of the video. Now I'll show you the second way to do this. This is the, normally the way I like to plant my tomato plants anyway, but this is another way you can deal with leggy tomato plants. Just dig a deep hole. This one's probably six or eight inches deep. And you just drop it down in the hole, fill around it. And then I like to put mulch around my tomato plants. And also I like to prune the bottom leaves as soon as possible. So I'll probably even just go ahead and cut that one off and leave that one for a little bit. And as soon as it grows a little bit, then I'll cut this one off too. Eventually I like to keep my bottom leaves at least a foot off the ground. But that's all there is to it. And another advantage to doing it this way is that it gets that root ball down deep where the moisture is so you may not even have to water your plant as much. And it, like, like the other version, it'll also form roots all along the stem. And I did a video on what uh, the roots on a stem looks like, uh, so I'll also put a link to that towards the end of this video. But this is just a pretty easy method to make your tall plant short. <laughs> Basically, this one started out close to a foot tall, and now it's only sticking up about three or four inches. Now I'm going to trim that leaf off and let her grow. Probably trim part of that one off, too. But that's all there is to it.